Hi, this is your host Sapna Bhartia and welcome to the 2023 predictions series. And today we have with us Rob Schmidt, partner at Carry Group. Rob, it's great to have you on the show. Yeah, great to be here. Before I ask you to grab your crystal ball and share the, some of the predictions that you have for us, tell us a bit about the company itself. I'm a partner at Carrot Group LLC, and we are a partner for many enterprises uh, in organizations that are looking to transform their developer experience, uh, their platform engineering, and uh, basically build a better product for their customers. So that's what customers turn to us to help them do. Now it's time for you to grab your crystal ball and tell us what predictions you have for us. My first prediction, I think, is is more going to be aligned to what we have seen happen in the marketplace uh, over the kind of the past few months, where uh, we've seen a lot of hiring get cut, we've seen layoffs in a, in a number of firms. Um, and what that means to, to us, or at least what we see as a trend going into 2023 here, is that companies and organizations are going to have to get used to uh, getting more out of their people and getting more productivity <clears throat> out of their developers in order to in order to meet their goals, right? So they're not going to be in this place where they can really throw people or bodies at problems like they've been able to in the past. So there's going to be a lot more focus on how do we make these people successful? What can we do to get more out of them? How do we make their jobs less uh, friction, more frictionless so that they're not um, <clears throat> spending time mired in muck and doing things that clog the wheels and slow down the path of production. So that's gonna be, I think, a fairly large focus for a lot of companies in 2023. My second prediction um, is, is more along the lines of what we see in the platform engineering space. Um, obviously platform engineering has kind of been around for a long time. Um, and we've seen a lot of, you know, a lot, of, a lot of companies really start to adopt it, but really they've been adopting it kind of piecemeal uh, where you have platform engineers that are owning portions of the tool chain or the developer experience, uh, rather than thinking about the whole thing as an end-to-end -end experience. So what we're, gonna, what we're really gonna see this year is more of a product mindset brought to the platform engineering, where you're gonna be a lot more focused on the developer experience and going out and talking and designing what those things are gonna be, rather than providing tools that allow developers to, con to, to, to consume components of the cloud or on-prem infrastructure or whatever uh, you're developing on, they're gonna be thinking about this holistically of like, how do I make it easy for these prim primitives to be consumed by these developers without them having to spend a lot of time learning, adjusting, uh, or rebuilding or retuning their skill sets to, um, to new areas or to new, new, new products, right? And then lastly, my third prediction I would say is we're, we've seen kind of over the, even just in the past few weeks with chat GPT, uh, the impact that AI is actually starting to have um, on the developer experience. Um, for now, it's been mostly focused on things like code generation, right? Like, like GitHub Copilot and, and what we're seeing. What, what we're gonna see starting in 2023 is AI become a lot more augmentative to the developer experience. Uh, you're gonna see it move into different areas of the, of the developer tool chain where developers will use it to automatically generate tests, right? Or it will start doing um, tech debt analysis, or it will start uh, looking for reliability issues inside of your logs, right? Kind of on an automated way where it's reporting information back to you and looking for those patterns uh, and helping make it easier on, again, the developer lifecycle and everything that they're doing as part of their jobs. So augmenting them, allowing them to do more, right? To, to build more faster rather than being, you know, kind of generative as it is right now, where it's just like it spits code out and goes from there. Thanks for sharing those predictions. Now, if I ask you, what is going to be the focus of Carry Group in 2023? For 2023, we're really focused on um, helping developers manage these transitions and helping companies manage these transitions, um, whether it's standing up a platform engineering team um, and working on figuring out how we're going to integrate all of these various you know, tool sets, containers, serverless, CICD, um, you know, all, all of the kind of storage patterns, all that kind of stuff together into a unified platform, kind of the original intent of Kubernetes, as it were, uh, which is here's a, here's a thing that you can use to build your own developer platform, your own opinionated developer platform. Uh, we're going to be very focused on that. Uh, we're also going to be focused on, you know, the programs and the practices that, that developers um, use in their day-to-day -day lives as they are trying to provide the software to their companies. We're going to focus on what are the things that are causing them issues, where are they spending their time, helping them understand um, where they're at in their company and where, where what their software provides. 
uh, and then helping them make value-based decisions around what are the things that we want to control and what are the things we don't want to control, right? Um, we've definitely seen teams go really far down the stack on DevOps, where almost now you have, you know, two pizza teams kind of owning a lot of stuff, right? And the secret sauce to DevOps is to own less stuff. Um, so we're working with companies to help them figure that out now as well. Um, and those are going to probably be our two large focuses for next year. Um, you know, but you never know what the future holds. What are the big challenges that you see will be there in 2023? And also, if you can talk about what role Caddy Group will play to help customers navigate through those challenges. One of the biggest problems that we've seen, one of the biggest challenges that, that companies have is that, you know, they've, they've gotten to this point. They've gotten, whether they're a digital native or they're a traditional enterprise, it's been around for 100 plus years. They've all gotten to this point for a reason. Um, and oftentimes these businesses are so large and so disparate that they're really not connected to each other or the business isn't necessarily connected to IT um, and, 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 and that area. So when you start to embark on these large transformations like digital transformation or platform engineering or DevOps or you know, even implementing Agile or something like that, um, it becomes very difficult for companies to scale because all these teams are operating in different contexts. They're operating in different uh, different modalities with different tech stacks, with different tech debt, with different approaches and different constraints on their business. So helping folks, you know, do that in a reliable and repeatable way is is something that uh, we're focused on on executing on with 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 our partners. Rob, thank you so much for taking time out today, and of course, share these predictions, focus on the company's challenges ahead. And as usual, I would love to have you back on the show to discuss other topics as well. But I really appreciate your time today. Thank you. Oh, of course, thank you for the time. Appreciate it.